Good morning, my lovely student. I hope all of you are taking good care of yourself and must be missing your friends in school. Okay, let's begin today's lesson. Today, inshallah, we are going to begin chapter 5, and that is Journey into the Past Ancient Greece. And you will find this chapter on page 105. So let's open up your books very fast. Today we will study, uh, we will uh, start lesson one, that is geography and history of ancient Greece. So first you should know what is geography. Geography is like a study of physical features of the earth. Or in a very simple word, you can say geography is a study of places and the relationship between people and their environment. And let me move the slide. Okay. First, we see the location of ancient Greece. Like ancient Greece is a peninsula in southeastern Europe and where the Greek civilization started and expanded east and west. So first you should know what is peninsula here. Peninsula. What is peninsula? Peninsula is like a piece of land almost surrounded by water. So ancient Greece, you can say it was surrounded by water. Then the Greek civilization started later than the civilization of ancient Egypt and those within the Fertile Crescent. Why this uh, Greek civilization was uh, started later? Because there are reasons. Because the land in the ancient Greece was mainly mountainous. Here you see, I gave you a one point. Okay, mountainous. Okay, so the land in ancient Greece was mainly mountainous. Montanus, uh, which made it harder for people to walk from one place to another. And the second reason was that the soil was not fertile as the soil in river valleys. So that is why the civilization of uh, Greeks, uh, it, it started later. Then Greeks were excellent sailors. Why? Of course, it, uh, Greek, uh, ancient Greece is a peninsula. So ancient Greece had a long coastline along the Mediterranean Sea, Black Sea and the Marmara Sea. So therefore the Greeks became excellent sailors who were able to travel to distant lands. And they also used to fish and to sail along trade routes from one city to another over the Mediterranean Sea and Black Sea. So and what was their uh, like uh, what, what they do, how do they earn, they were able to make a living by buying and selling things because uh, they used to buy fish and they used to sell the fish as well next we have uh, ancient greece is considered to be the foundation culture of western civilization because this civilization started in 2000 bc and ended with the establishment of the roman empire in 146 bc so this civilization has great importance why because the because because of the countless contribution that the greek culture has made to western society in the area of art literature philosophy drama architecture and polit and politics because it contributed a lot that is why it is considered to be the foundation culture of western civilization and all the dates and details everything you will find in your book so you can see just like as I said okay, this civilization started in 2000 BC. So you will find all the dates in, in your uh, book. Now we will study about the history of ancient uh, Greece. And there are different eras of ancient Greece. And I, we will see uh, number one is uh, where? Okay. The number one is Mycenae, uh, Mycenae here. Uh, okay. Okay, let me see where I lost. Okay, Mycenaean. Mycenaean Greece period. Okay, so there were different uh, era of ancient Greece and number one is Mycenaean Greece period. This era was from uh, 1600 BC to about 1100 BC. And uh, this era was under the king, uh, under the rule of a king and his king name was Agamemnon. You will find it in your book. The name of the king was Agamemnon. Agamemnon and uh, this era this Mycenaean Greece period or era was uh, known for the wars against Troy and this uh, you will find these uh, stories of Troy or these wars uh, in the epics of Homer who was Homer who was uh, Homer was a great Greek poet and writer 
then we have uh, dark age number one uh, number two is the dark age so dark age why uh, this period is called dark age because the wars there were a lot of wars that caused Greece economy to collapse in this era and popu uh, its population crashed and these war also these wars also created poverty and political confusion and because of this reason this era or this uh, era is called dark age and this period uh, the period of this era was from 11th century bc to 8th century bc okay and then we have archaic age and why it is called archaic age because it was old fashioned and the period uh, its period was from 700 bc to 480 bc because after this is going to come uh, classical age so before uh, classical age was an old fashioned era okay so now classical age the most famous period of ancient greek civilization is classical age which lasted from 480 BC to 323 BC and do you know what happened in this period the Greeks reached their highest level of prosperity in this period and they also produced amazing cultural accomplishments so this was the most famous period of ancient Greek the classical age okay so next we have city-states Ancient Greece was not a unified nation. This is very important. Unified means mix. Okay. So ancient Greece was not a unified nation. It was, it consisted of independent poly cities. Here you see independent poly cities. And these cities have uh, a small walled area. Number one. These uh, cities have a small walled area and that was no bigger than a few city blocks. Second thing is that each polis was a nation of its own and it developed independently of one another, a nation of its own. And third, uh, all Greek poly shared the same language dependent on each other to survive. So second, third point is that they all have same language and last that the, poly, uh, the Greek poly were originally monarchies. Monarchies mean like it, they have royal system and such as um, Athens, Sparta and Thebes, uh, Thebes, right? These are the examples of some uh, cities. Athens, Sparta and Thebes. Okay, now last thing which is most important is to open up your workbook and you have to read the whole chapter at home and then start doing all the question answers in your workbook and filling the blanks from page 77 to 79. Once you will go through all these terms and the name of the king and the, their dates, everything you will find in your workbook and then you can easily attempt them. So take care and see you again.